Hey, hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Cube Evolution server. How are you all doing today? Is that sunset or is that sunrise? Let's go take a look real quick. If it's sunrise, I'm going to be a very happy grazer, although it looks like it's starting to dim, which means it is sunset. So we are going to be in the middle of the night. Ooh, spooky, spooky. <laughs> uh, welcome back, everybody, to the Cube Evolution server. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is this. Uh, Bayani said that he didn't have enough blocks or enough time to do like an actual build yet So temporarily he's tidied it up a bit. This is what our farm looks like now uh, So he went ahead and removed all the wooden walls around and put fences and connected them with uh, oak wood and cobblestone slabs I want your opinion on this by the way. Let me know what you think Do you want me to keep this on where every time I look at an item it shows what it is? Or do you want me to turn it off? Because personally, I don't care, but I don't want it to be like in the way if it bothers you guys. So I'm going to have a poll on that in the description below. This is how it would look like every time I look at things. Um, but for now, since we've done the whole series with it off, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off uh, temporarily. But yeah, just let me know, guys. I want to get your opinion on that. And yeah, whatever the results are, hopefully it's not too close. I hate the polls where like... The results are so close to each other that it's really hard to make a decision. So if it's too close, I might just keep it like we've always done it. So I have my Thaumonomicon in my inventory. And as you just saw, I opened it up and it looks like all the research I've done is still there. One of my main worries about last episode when I gave that uh, spell or that book to Kermit that gave him all the knowledge I had obtained from Thaumonomicon was that I lost all the research myself, which is untrue. I'm just so happy that it didn't take away any of the stuff I learned from it because Thomcraps has taken me hours so far to get all of that knowledge. And uh, I feel like, I don't know. It was kind of skeptical to me at first because I didn't know there was a book that you could use to give all your knowledge to someone. It felt like it was too easy. So I thought there would be a catch and that catch to me was <laughs> I would lose some if not all of it. So it's good that we have it back. One of the things I wanted to do today though, I have an axe, an essence axe. It's infused, unbreakable, unbreaking three, smite four. With this axe, I now have every tool in the game except for a bow. I don't know if you can get an essence bow. Let me quickly research it no so essence bows do not exist I have every single weapon that you can get with essence so I have unbreakable everything now <laughs> so unless I die uh, us breaking our tools is not gonna be a worry I got this from will uh, will gave it to me the other day because Bayani was busy and I asked him if he could do some renovations on the farm uh, and then he was like no I can't by the way uh, take this I don't need it so uh, I took it and then Bionic came on later and renovated the farm himself just a bit temporarily but it doesn't have the best enchants on it like I would like efficiency 4 or something on there uh, and I was looking through my chest and it doesn't appear that I have a very good diamond axe uh, that I got from like lucky blocks or anything I think I may have gotten one before but I didn't like carry it along with me and this book is only knocked back too so for now we can't really do anything about the axe but it got me thinking I have this lucky shovel here that has almost every good enchantment on it and I was thinking maybe apply that to my current shovel that's only efficiency 4 on breaking 3 would get fortune silk touch and all of that good stuff and I was thinking we can use the auto disenchanter to transport it to the new weapon so here's how we're gonna do it we're gonna put it in here along with a normal book I believe we just need one and then it'll do its work all the way up to 600 and it'll disenchant all of the enchantments onto this book I believe uh, so let's see if that works please work please work please work oh my gosh do you have to do it with every single one? Oh, so that's what the repeat option is for so you get an enchanted book for every actually that works because I didn't really want silk touch on this because it would give me all of the the blocks that were like uh, if I was breaking grass and well actually maybe I do want silk touch but we have the option now oh that's awesome I'm actually wondering if you have an almost broken shovel and you disenchant will it give you every single enchantment I feel like that would be kind of cheap but it might work and I might be able to use it to my advantage here so let's see it's almost done fortune 3 yeah, it's a bit broken and I think it's going to give me every enchant that's on it. So I think it, the damage only affects the actual shovel itself and it won't penalize you for any of the enchantments on it, which is very good. This is my first time using an auto disenchanter, so I'm amazed and fascinated by this. Okay, so since I figured out that uh, the books are separate, I think what I want to do is I want to add efficiency 5 to my axe. 
uh, so that it at least has a half decent enchantment on it. So I will go ahead and auto anvil that together. So I think for now, we'll just put the efficiency five on the axe and then move on. Okay, there we go. Efficiency five on our essence axe. Now we can cut down trees with ease and infinitely because it doesn't break. So speaking of the tree farm, uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing that for a bit. So I went ahead and broke the walls and just left the tree there. So it looks a bit more tidy around here. And then if we go look at the farm over here, I, I added these slabs and that's because there was an error. If I head down here, if I were to go ahead and take an item out of here and accidentally drop it onto the floor, then these guys would go nuts and they would jump over and go into this little storage compartment and then they wouldn't be able to get out. So luckily portal guns can move things and I use those to my advantage to move them out. And this guy has had a wood uh, in his inventory forever. Kind of want him to get back to his job. There we go. But other than that, it's been working perfectly fine and it looks a lot nicer now. I'm debating whether I want to remove my lighting system of, uh, <laughs> well, that breaks it so quickly, of jack-o'-lanterns here and replace them with something nicer. Do, do, do. There we go. Our enchantment book chest is piling up. All right. It makes sense that this would only be able to be placed on, uh, on like, uh, ceilings and stuff, but... Ah, uh, no, nah, you can't place it on the ground. Can you place it on walls? No. Okay, so torches are going to have to remain my ground source of light. But I would like chandeliers places too, because chandeliers are pretty nice. Maybe have some, like, hanging from the top here. Oh, can you not add them to these blocks either? You can add them to these blocks. But none of the blocks I actually want to add them to. Interesting. Oh, well, I guess that idea is down the drain then. Maybe we can use that for down here. See if I can put like a chandelier like maybe here or something. Make the place down here spice up a bit. I don't know. I've always wanted to use a chandelier and I thought maybe it would not make sense and you could, you would be able to put it on the ground or something. But uh, yeah, I, 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 th I think we're going to tear that down for now. And if we ever want to use it, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in a place like uh, a dining room area or something. Uh, actually, I do have an idea on where we could put it. We could put them down the hallway here. Does that look good? Here, let me go ahead and put a bunch of them, and you guys let me know what you think. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the ceiling is kind of a bit low to warrant any chandeliers, because they do kind of look a bit low. And plus, we have the essence torches in here. So anyways, uh, let me know what you think. I think I'm going to remove them for now. Uh, but if you have any ideas on where I can implement the chandeliers, definitely let me know because I want to I want to make use of this block. It's pretty cool. All right, the shovel is useless to us now because we took all the enchants off of it. This one's got smite four, so not so good. So let's start talking about the lucky block shot that we started last episode. Uh, we need to finish that this episode, and I came up with a very good idea. Well, at least Parker did. Parker came up with a very good idea of something that I could implement to the shop, and I'll go over that in a second. I've been smelting tons of gold for the shop just so we could get a lot of lucky blocks. I had a lot unsmelted and left over here and over here. <laughs> tons of it. Uh, I think we all have at least enough to start selling at this point. Uh, and a lot of comments said I should probably sell it for magical food or nether stars instead of steak. I agree with magical food. I don't think so much I need nether stars. And I don't think it's that, like, valuable to require nether stars, if you know what I mean. Our limiting factor is actually cobble here. Uh, but I already have some lucky blocks that are stored in the shop. So let's go to spawn and visit it real quick. There's actually something I want to check out at spawn as well before we go to the lucky block shop. It looks like a lot of people have started to put their portals here. We got Will, Mitch... Kermit, who doesn't have a portal but has decorated his background. I guess that's our nether tunnel, <laughs> so to speak. Rusher Grazer, Tomahawk, and then over here we got uh, Straubs. Ah, this is going to lead 20,000 blocks out, isn't it? Yep. Are we 20,000 blocks? 19,000 blocks out is where Straub said he wanted to hang. And we got there in the midst of a second. So I asked Kermit if there was anything new at spawn, and he said, check underneath. Is there a quick access point that gets underneath the spawn region here? Oh, here we go. What the heck is this? Holy smokes. Rune of Sacrifice. Oh, is this blood magic stuff? Yeah, this is a blood altar down here. I was kind of thinking that at first, and this is the portal to Kermit's place, I presume. Yes, sir. Whenever he works on something, he always moves his portal. And it's below the spawn here. I don't know exactly what the blood altar does yet. I haven't really looked into that mod, but... Uh, knowing that he put it down here, it must have something to do with spawn and something that everyone will be required to use at one point, but it looks sick down here with the decoration that he's done. Oh, are these just like spawn? Oh, I get it now. 
This is a room for spawn stuff, like your like hardened energy cell, auto spawner that everyone can use and whatnot. I get it. I got it now. I understand. So right up on this hill here, Will and I saw this village thing. I presume it's something that Kermit has done. Uh, usually it's Kermit because he knows like everything <laughs> and uh, we were like how did this get here did someone build this and it looks like it's like an actual chunk that was pulled from somewhere else and I don't even know I didn't even know that was possible that's really cool uh, if you're actually able to do that because it looks like a 16 by 16 area that was just dragged on from some other part of the world and placed here so if I like if that was actually possible and you can move around chunks Oh man, that would be pretty cool. So underneath spawn was pretty dang cool, but today we want to make some renovations to the Lucky Block shop. So on me I have uh, 40 more Lucky Blocks that we can go ahead and sell. Uh, and I can sell, I think about, yeah, two more uh, batches of 16, which I can put in here now. So we have a good, uh, good amount. Welcome to the famous lucky block shop here we sell lucky blocks in batches of 16 each batch costs a total of and i didn't figure out my actual price yet but you know we want a place where we break lucky blocks all of the time <laughs> well parker came up with the idea that i've never messed with mistcraft yet so we can probably go ahead and explore some worlds together find a good world and connect it with the lucky block shop so that after customers purchase a lucky block oh hey Hey, <laughs> so after customers purchase a lucky block, and he's actually right here waiting to get started, uh, there's a world here that they can, can connect to and go in, and then they would be able to go ahead and break their lucky blocks there. Whoa, 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 Oh man, I think he's ready to go, guys, so let's get right into it. Lag. Parker! What's up, man? I'm doing not too bad. You're a bat today in front of me, so I'm you're sure. kind of tiny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll, just be, I'll just be you. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Just, yeah, just saying it. And morph into you real quickly. It'll be great. Oh, do you have all my right. morph? Uh, I didn't know you had it. Hello, everyone. Hey, <laughs> Stop. Back. You do that every single yeah. time. I feel so ugly, man. It feels... <laughs> how does it feel to be you? I, it, it feels horrible. <laughs> oh, dude. I got to live it every day. I don't know. I don't know how I do I it. You. I don't know how I manage. I love um, you, Grazer. So, um, so we are in here, the Lucky Block shop, and you wanted to kind of show me around and show me the, what's going on. Oh my gosh, do I ever have a lot to show you, Parker? Watch this, okay? So this what? is do the I ever have a lot to show you? Yeah, this <laughs> is the Lucky Block shop, and if we enter in, are you gonna are you gonna come in, <laughs> Parker? Hello, Parker? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing that? What the heck is that? How do you do that? Tell me how you do that. That is the it's cool. Lag, it's it's, it's not funny. lag. What is that? Oh my gosh. I just, I just made little little a bunch of me's. It's fine. Okay, anyways. <laughs> uh which one's the real you, Parker? Hello? Oh, so it's like Lucky which Parker one is now. Me? Okay. I just got a morph, dude. What the heck? Stop it, Parker. No. No. Stop it. We're playing Lucky Parker now. I'm going around killing them all. Eventually, you will find me and kill me. Uh-oh. 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 Run. Parker, do I see you? I haven't seen you yet. It's, it's, it's a new game. It's a new game for the Minute Shop. It's called Find Parker. Look at all the business you have at your place. Look at all the business. There's so many people. You're going ham in there. <laughs> die! Die, Markers! Die, die, die! Hello, it's me. It's it's the real me this time. Don't uh, kill me. Oh, you're invisible. Hi. Oh. What's up? Hi. No, you're not invisible anymore. Okay. I have a turtle on my head. So, so let me show you around the Lucky Block shop, Parker. We just had a lot of business, so I couldn't attend to you real quick, but now I can. Um, Are you smoking right now? <laughs> no, literally. I think you're smoking. Go in F5. Can you see yourself? If you don't have particles on, but you are smoking right now. Really? Let me see. Like you are on fire. Not, I mean, physically, like literally, oh, you're geez. on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I doing that? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let me you're just so hot, Grazer. Whenever you morph into a pirate, oh, you're really, a really sexy pirate. My goodness. This is it. Uh, thanks for filming this clip with me, Parker. And, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> hey, can I break one in here real quick? Can I just break one? No, no. Okay, it's so fine. You, I'll just break it real quick. Real no, quick, no, 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 relax, no. Parker, relax, Parker, Parker. Grazer, relax. It's okay. It's all good. Got Grazer. Now that you've placed it, we can't pick it up. <laughs> Get, go, ahead, it now. go ahead and break it, and if you break it and something happens, it's all oh, on you. Oh, no. Why did you place it? <laughs> this is not good. What if it blows up? 
I'm gonna take a picture of the shop before it blows up. <laughs> take a picture beforehand. <laughs> And I'm taking all my lucky blocks okay, out Grazer, of the- I promise you, if anything happens, Grazer, I'll, I will rebuild this myself, okay? Okay, okay. I'm just saying that right now. I hope nothing bad happens. Grazer, three, <sighs> two... Okay, oh. <laughs> jeez. <laughs> what a scare. Oh my goodness. I need your help today because I don't know what to sell them for. If you read the signs, it says, here we sell lucky blocks in batches of 16. Uh, and then a cost of empty for a total toss of nothing. Thank <laughs> so you, no, 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 it's Thank not you. open yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was thinking, I was thinking originally food, because that's all I really need on this server. But then a lot oh. of people were like, mm, maybe do magical food, not like steak or something. Magical food seems good, but I could start growing that at any time. So do you think there would be a nice price for this? They're quite easy to make. A nice cheap price that I would like be able to use for myself. Like that sounds amazing. <laughs> okay. Just Magical food. That sounds real good. All right. So you like that idea? Okay. So that's a pretty amazing idea. A total of, and that way I don't have to start growing it myself, which is pretty amazing. All right. Okay. And a cost of how many magical food should we do? Like you can grow it easily. So I, I'm just going to do one magical food for lucky block right now. Um, I don't know if that's worth it. We'll, we'll figure it out in the meantime and I'll redesign those signs later. So, uh, Parker, we came up with an idea. Uh, what do you want to do in terms of where you break the lucky block? So we're talking about we had a we both had an idea Okay, and that was uh, we're going to a miscraft world and break lucky blocks Yeah, like we're like fighting over who's gonna take the idea. Yeah, I know like, no, I want to take it <laughs> And so I had an idea of actually having a, uh, a Little thing here like a little miscraft world in here that Connected you can go into and break your lucky to block the lucky free. block shop It all makes sense now so it works and I've never explored Mistcraft, so it gives me the chance to do that as well. Ooh. So you're the Mistcraft guy. Set it up. Have a good one. Set it up. All right. <laughs> See you later, Grazer. Actually, I brought a few test worlds uh, that I think already work. I think they're already like not explosive because I'm afraid I'm going to lose all my stuff if we just go into a random one. Okay. So I have a few worlds we can test out. See if you like them. Okay. Little, you know, welcome to the test the test world. See if, So uh, how do I use cooked. this? This is now a book. Just right click, right -click it. Right click it. And Age then, eight. Uh, and then press the little blue thing, and you're going to the new world. If I die, Parker, uh, you may die. There are mobs everywhere. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Don't die. Did you crash? Are you good? Welcome back, Razor. Yeah, I'm back on. Whoa! You like this beautiful world. It's so like lucky blocky and so mag magnificent. It actually and great. is kind of lucky blocky with like the rainbow and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just stay right there, Grazer. Stand, stand but... right there. Stand right there. I'm present for you. I'm present. Stand right there. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you just explode. <laughs> Here, I got I got something for you, Parker. I'm gonna Ooh. Ooh, You got diamonds! diamonds. Blow oh. up, Parker! No, you got oh, an enchant table! <laughs> oh no, no, it's Yes, fine. give me them! Yes! Give them yes! Me. They're all no, mine! No, you're not back all, I'm gonna lose it's it. mine. <laughs> Oh, oh dies and everything! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, mine, 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 mine. No! Oh my gosh, I just got a lucky chest plate! Oh. No, that was my Grazer 10. No, it oh, was Oh, star. Nether star. You got one? Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Where? Two oh. nether stars in a row. No. What? Pumpkin pie and a sponge. Nice. You got way better than me, man. You win this round. Okay, you win so this round, Grazer 10. The, the question is, we just did a few lucky block openings. Does this feel right for a lucky block world? Is this? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if this does. I mean, because it's kind of it Check it out. beautiful. It's and, like, floating. Are all worlds like floating above? The void? All different. Okay, so they're not all floating above a void then. No, no, no. no. That's the only problem I see is that if it explodes too much, the world will actually start to get destroyed. And... Yeah, exactly. That would be kind of bad. So I don't think this will last forever. I think we should probably do another one. All right. Maybe so. One more lucky block to break at this place though, and uh, first person that gets it wins. Ready? Oh, oh. Where is it? Where is it? Yes. Oh, it's a bunch of droppers. Woohoo! Yay! You can make more! You can make more lucky blocks! For the next world! <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you there. How do I get out? Okay. <laughs> uh, come over here, and then right click on that little book thing. Okay, and then just click the world then? Yeah. Yes! I actually got- oh, I'm at your place. That's not good. Yeah. We, we don't want it that's... to connect to your place, do we? Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, I can change that. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, Grazer. I'm back. Yeah, you're back. No! You know my secret. <laughs> I do know your secret. You just send these clones out to talk to me. I don't want to talk to your stupid clones! <laughs> no, don't kill my clones! Oh, that's not you? Okay. You're the one with the ah, hat. that's me! Okay. <laughs> I have a couple more we can test out. I'm gonna put this here, and we are going to put... Let's see here. Which one is it? This guy? Oh, man. 
I'm a little scared. I don't remember if these are good or not, and so I'm a little scared. Uh, How come oh, you don't oh, crash when you go into it? This one's kind of cool. Oh, uh, yeah, you might crash. Be careful, Grazer. Don't die. Oh, no, uh -oh. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't? Oh, you here? Whoa, what the heck? Yeah, so this one's an ice one, and it has, like, random balls in the sky that have dirt in it and stuff. What? And then here's, like, an <laughs> island. So this can be, like, the lucky island that you break stuff off of. Hmm. It's kind of cool. Hmm. What are you doing, Grazer? 10? It's great. Well, no scratches out or anything. I it's think the new. I think the only thing we, we can do to test how. Oh my gosh, is it always nighttime? <laughs> I don't know. There's there's things everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but but we can't. We still can't judge it off that marker. We still have to judge it based on how it there feels. There are monsters everywhere. No, <laughs> there's too many. I can't even make lucky blocks, marker. There's literally <laughs> everywhere. Okay, I don't think this world's gonna work. <laughs> I don't think either. And there's like, is this the void right here? Where at? Is this like? This might be the void. No, it's some kind of like. Oil or something? Uh, yeah, that's black oil. If you step in it, you get like uh, poison. Is that the void? I don't know. I stepped in, in it. it. Yeah, you just get poison stuff, and it's that's, <laughs> that's jumped in into another pool of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're not gonna do this world. This is not lucky block style. I want like a happy world, Barker. That customers are like happy proud world to go is into. Hard to find. <laughs> I found one happy world. That's where I live on right now. <laughs> okay. It's hard. Um. All right. Well, I guess we'll go explore the next world. Where's the book, Barker? <laughs> oh, there is no book. So we're not getting You're back. You're stuck here forever. No! <laughs> oh, stupid freaking Parkers. Look at this. Just there, knocking there them so, off. Look at all this. Ah! <gasps> I actually hit you. Are you going to die? <laughs> I have two hearts, one heart. Okay, I'm good. Whew. That was if power died, five. you been screwed here. Really? Yeah, you'd, you'd be stuck forever. No. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, here's the book. Here's the book. Let's go back. Back to the world. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're back. We're back. We're back. It was Whew. scary there. Okay. Oh, I don't like it. So break that immediately. I don't like that <laughs> that world. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Let me get this off. Come here, little guy. Come back to Papa. Come to Papa. I have one more world to go to. I think this is a terrible world. I'm not sure yet. All right, uh, age let's nine. Go, let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> what the uh, heck? Where are we? I don't know. I can't see a thing. I don't know where we are. <laughs> Wait, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Uh, this looks cozy to break lucky blocks. It is. There's like a nether fortress here. Yeah, I just noticed that. What the That's heck? so cool. I actually need some some th some of this stuff. Is there is there blaze? Is there, can I, Wait, is, is there this actually thing? a nether fortress? It is. This is actually a nether fortress. Are you serious? I can hardly see anything, but it is. I can't see anything There's a blaze all. spawner right there if you want to get it. Oh, six, six, six. Right over Maybe. here? Um... Where? Right here. Oh, nice. At I need to get. Come on. One hundred five minus one fifty. Why is this here? I'm so confused. I don't know, but I think it's a good place to break some lucky blocks, Parker. So come over here to lava, and we'll set this up as lucky block world. Oh man. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this is not gonna be lucky, but I feel like uh, we haven't broken lucky blocks in like a good we have five to break minutes. At least one. So I'm yeah. trying to kill you. No. Come on. no. Die, Grazer. Oh, oh, you almost oh. did kill me with a gold block. Let's see what we get out of this one. Here, let's break, uh... Oh, more droppers for more lucky blocks for the next nice. world. We're getting lucky. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I almost just died. Oh, my goodness. A beacon. I got a beacon. Perfect. Oh, sick, sick, sick. And... Are you going to die? I'm, I'm going to die, dude. I'm going to die. No, no. No, no, no. no. I disconnected. it. Did I die? No, you didn't die. How many hearts do you have? I don't know. I think I crashed. When you first log in, the fire ticks won't affect. Now log off again. How many hearts? I, I only have half a heart. Really? Yes. Okay, so just keep logging off and in. Okay, log off uh... again. <laughs> Until the ticks wear off. That's how we're going to do this. That's how it works. Uh... <laughs> how long is this going to take? <laughs> just... I don't know. <laughs> ah! Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, good. I'm good. <laughs> don't you smack me. I'm going to have a heart. And I'll be stuck here forever. <laughs> You'll be stuck here. Okay. Let me put down this guy with uh, a linking book so we can get back to the world. Oh, goodness. Just in case. Just in case. Let me... Don't... Okay, let's move away from there so we don't, like, explode the linking book that gets us back home. <laughs> okay. So you want to break a few more? Yeah, let's break, let's break like, a few more. Let's do okay. it on the nether fortress. Let's explode the nether fortress. But I can't even see anything out there. There's, oh, there's girls here. There are? Hello, ladies. How you doing there, girl? Mm, let me break that <laughs> back. I'm going to kill you. What if that Whoa. blows her up? They ran away. She, like, ran away. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's potion stuff. Oh. Oh. Is that, what is that? Wait, is that is a it? lucky... Well, it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Grazer. That could have been a lucky pickaxe if you just exploded it. Oh, my goodness. There's a creeper. Let me just look over and explode the creeper. All, these goodies. all right, we got one here. A bunch of XP oh, bottles. XP, mine. And what's this going to be? Another gold block. You can have that. And two more for this world. 
Oh, more droppers for more. Woohoo! Nice. <laughs> and a lucky sword. No, just a diamond sword just and a diamond hoe. Nothing important. So that's going to be for this world. Let's get out of here, Parker. I don't like this leave. place. Yo, we have a problem here, Parker. Every time we, like, count down, no one leads it in. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, <laughs> one. Grazer to the we're back. Okay, so we picked the world, uh, we went through three worlds, and we were like, alright, two of them were terrible, we really don't want to do experimental worlds, so we're going to do the first one, which is Age 8, and it leads us to this happy-go-lucky world. Uh, I love it! If it ever turns out that, uh, you know, we broke into many lucky blocks here and the whole land is destroyed, we can easily go ahead and uh, get a new world by experimenting, but Grazer, Parker Grazer, says... I have, I have an idea, Grazer10. What if I sell... Because this was going to be my world that was going to open a lucky block, so what if I sell you this world? Sell me this world. Yeah, like what if I sell it to you for like I don't know, thirty lucky blocks? I'd be down. And then, and then and then every time, like I'll be your I'll be your lucky block world constructor. And every time you need a new one, you just be like, Yo, Parker, the world's destroyed. I'd be like, All right, man, see you in a second. And I'll like show you some some uh, worlds and see which one you like. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. And all you want is like thirty lucky blocks. Well, if you can give me more, I'll be cool with that. <laughs> well, I just I don't want to give you my whole shop's worth so far. It's just starting yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, I got you. I think I think thirty be fine. I really want a lucky sword. That's my main goal here. Okay. Well, since we've chosen our world now, Parker, I want to I want to be nice and like uh, treat you to some lucky blocks right here. So we're gonna break Woo. open a few more. Woohoo! I feel like this whole episode is just lucky blocks, but Parker loves them. So go ahead and break them. Go ahead and break them, Parker. <laughs> oh, oh, that's gonna be the diamond block on top of the I tower. Love it. I love oh. so many lucky. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, is that a lucky sword? It's a oh it, <gasps> no it's a normal sword. Oh I got so happy for a second. I'm so happy. Come on now. Oh oh I don't want that. oh I don't want that. oh I don't want oh 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 here here's more here's more break more break more burger. Oh, ah! yeah. oh more droppers we can make more. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> more more more. Obsidian go 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 go. <laughs> ah, I'm breaking them I'm breaking them oh 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 I'm breaking more. Oh no oh no. Ah! That's gonna be the anvil. Okay, we're good. I didn't die. Oh my ah. gosh, a diamond block. There we go. Let me get that and let me get this one on top. No, so, yeah. mine, 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 mine. Yeah. Oh. Race to it. Can I get it? Did I get it? No, I, my inventory is full. Got it. Yes. Okay, so this is going to be the lucky block world. Let's head back to the beginning. Now, have one concern here, uh, Parker. <laughs> what happens if one of the lucky blocks manages to destroy the way back through the book? Um, we'll put it in a very safe place. We'll use like I don't the know. heck is that over there? There's a floating oh, yeah, mine shaft. There are abandoned mine shafts. You can fly to them. Do you want to put the book there? Uh, we can. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I, I will probably. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I will probably like make a nice little uh, suspended area where you can um have it have a book. It'll be real safe. Like, okay, as long as it doesn't break. I don't want any of my customers stuck in here forever. You know. That would be hilarious. <laughs> To be honest, that would oh, be and my house. yeah, there's still oh, an error. House. I need to make another looking book for that because I will make it later. But uh, so, what do you think? 30, 30 lucky blocks? I think 30 lucky blocks would be good. So, uh, I guess we can just head back to my shop. I'll pay you the fee and we can uh, we can be on with our lives here, Parker. So. All right, see you later, Grazer. Actually, I think I, I can just go up myself and just pick them up if you're cool with that. All right, that's cool. See ya. All right, I love you, Grazer. Love you too. Bye bye. Goodbye. All right, guys. So, that was a fun little episode with Parker Games <laughs> where we explored new dimensions. I believe. Parker is going to come and adjust this and make sure it's all working functionally and, and all that good stuff. So when customers come in and buy lucky blocks, then they can just go into the dimension and uh, and break the blocks there so that they don't have to go back home or whatever. And it's a cool experience. Uh, but one thing I needed your advice for, and I think I'm going to change this, it's not going to cost... 16 lucky or 16 magical foods. How does 32 sound? Let me know because magical food is kind of semi difficult to get, but same are lucky blocks, they're not that hard to get. But other than that, I think that's going to end it off for today's episode of the Cube Evolution server. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a rating, and I will see you guys all again next time. Bye bye.